it is a new week it's the start of day four of vlogmas i have been having sort of an off feeling day i think it's mostly because i just feel a bit sick i definitely am feeling under the weather i just have like an overall like body chill that no matter how much i turn up my heat in here it will not go away i think i'm just like kicking a cold or something so i'm a little bit like uh, uh, low energy today <laughs> i will try my best for the vlog to have um a good amount of energy i am so happy with all of my christmas decor nonetheless oh my gosh it's just making me so happy so today I just got up the vlog from yesterday and then I have really been very slow moving today. I think I woke up like five hours ago and I just can't even name anything I've done besides take a shower and edit and upload my vlog. And it's like, what have I been doing? I wasn't even lollygagging. Like, I really haven't been doing any lollygagging today. So what the heck is going on, Lindsay? My hair today... I have no explanation. Actually, I do have an explanation. I have run out of conditioner and I haven't replaced it. So I just did like a heavy shampoo and then it took me so long to brush out my hair because it was like so freaking just knotty and like dry. It's, it's not doing very well. <laughs> But um, I'm gonna get a haircut this week, I think, because I just have some ends that need to be that need to be chopped. These roots are a different story. I'm not exactly sure right now if I want to dye my hair again. I've really been trying to take a break from dyeing my hair for a while. So my roots are very, very deep and dark compared to this like light blonde. But eh, whatever. What can you do? It's a dance we know the moves The bow, the dip, the woo Though the words are true The state is old news Wrap me in your arms I can't feel it but Wrap me in your arms I can't feel it but Get up, get down, get up, get down Feel the rotation and stop, see the next one waiting Get up, get down, get up, get down, get up Sentiments the same with a pair of feet change I know my words will drive One of my favorite Christmas movies is on the Santa Claus <laughs> Love it. So me and Squirtle are just hanging out. I'm about to just finish up the details for my last vlog. Have a little bit of relaxation time. with the dogs tonight um, to some classical music. We were just hanging out tonight, me and Sean and some of the boys and Sean's roommates. There was actually a lot of people over at his house tonight, but Sean's actually moving out of his house um, in two days. I went over there and I helped him pack for a while and then we were just hanging out, watch a little bit of Shameless at the end. I think we actually watched like three episodes, so I'm getting caught up with season eight, which is the new season. All right, guys, I just took my makeup off and I have been getting asked a lot about um, like the cost of living in Boise. 
specifically compared to coming from Los Angeles, which is one of the most expensive cities in the United States to live in. Just so eye-opening how much money I guess you can save and how much more inexpensive and affordable things are living in, you know, like just smaller cities and smaller towns. Like Boise is still the capital of Idaho. Like it's still the biggest city by far in the state, but it's just so interesting comparing it to coming from living in specifically me in downtown LA for the past four years. So um, I just have this website pulled up called Numbio, Numbio, I don't know, I'll put how you say it right here. And you can compare like two major cities and the cost of living and it's actually like very, uh, it's very interesting. This says you would need around $3,400 in Boise, Idaho to maintain the same standard of life that you can have with $5,600 in Los Angeles, California, assuming that you rent in both cities. So if you, I mean, no one would really rent an apartment for $5,600, but let's say maybe you spent $5,600 in a month in, in living in LA, dude, well off, you're spending, you would only spend $3,400 on the same things in Boise for the same amount of space for rent, for the same products that you're buying, you would only need $3,400. That is over $2,000 in a month saved. I mean, that's a lot of money that you would be spending in a month, but I'm sure that a lot of people in LA spend that much money in a month. Consumer prices in Boise, Idaho are 24% lower than in Los Angeles. Rent prices in Boise, Idaho are 58% lower than Los Angeles. 58% lower. That is huge. That's the biggest that you save is with rent. Um, restaurant prices are 21% lower. Grocery prices are 28% lower. And local purchasing power is 6.36% higher than in Los Angeles. So I think that just means you can get more for your money for what you know, you're buying. Um, I think that's what that means. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Let me put it into a little bit of real life perspective for you. I was living in about a 1,100 foot square foot apartment in downtown LA. Now, you guys know my apartment was very, you know, up to date, great building. You know what I mean? I, I was about to say great area, but I think about it, I'm like, I don't want to live in downtown again. I mean, I don't know if I would call it a great area. A great area if you want to live in the city and you want to be surrounded by all of that. Also like a crazy area and a sketchy area a lot of the time at night. When I moved out, 2650, maybe 2600 without the $50 pet, pet rent I was paying, but I think it was around 2650 a month which was absolutely absurd, but I don't know anyone in LA that lives for less than like $1,800 a month that has their own apartment. I think you could probably do it for, you could do it for 12 or $1,300 in a not great area for a small studio space. Comparing that, my boyfriend lives here in Boise in a house that I believe is about 850 square feet, so just a little bit less than my apartment was. Um, a two bedroom, one bathroom house with a backyard with a driveway and they pay 900 something i think it's 950 975 it is under a thousand dollars a month let's compare 1200 dollars in la would get you i mean i don't know what it would be like living in the valley i'm not going to speak on areas that i didn't live in i know you could my sister paid 1200 1250 a month to live in a studio apartment in koreatown the apartment was pretty cool small a studio for one person but it was a it was not a good area and Megan would tell you that like, but an area where you can go and live and save money and live affordably so that amount if you paid 1200 for a place in Boise you could probably get a mm, two or three bedroom little house 
an entire house for what you would pay for a small studio in a shitty area of LA. Comparing like food prices and stuff, it's really not, I haven't noticed that much of a difference. Actually, I notice a difference when I'm like at the coffee shop or things like that. Everything's just cheaper. Even if I get like a bagel, it's like $2. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like a bagel shouldn't be much more than $2, but I feel like I would pay like four or five dollars for a bagel with cream cheese or something in LA. I guess something I would want to get across with like sharing this with you guys and obviously I just wanted to answer those of you guys that have been asking and but also you guys have kind of been asking like just the, the major differences um, and the major differences are for me right now that I don't live downtown anymore and I was used to living downtown for so long but it's been honestly such a nice change and I definitely could choose to live that city life if I wanted to again. Um, downtown Boise is super super cute and there's some cool apartment buildings down there but if and when I do decide to have a new lease here that I would really really try for a house or just like you know just a small house like I'm talking starting off like one maybe two bedroom if I wanted an extra bedroom for like an office um, but Boise is not as random as it might sound um, to some people that aren't familiar with it like all of my friends I mean I even myself before I ever came here before I ever was dating someone that lived here I was like Idaho why would I ever go there? Like Idaho is so random, it has nothing. It's one of those states that you would just like drive through and not stop to see anything. Like I thought that, but the secret is all the people that live here are doing it right, you guys. And I'm not just saying that because I just like moved here and my boyfriend lives here. I'm not kidding you. Like these people are doing it right because you're paying a, compared to so many other cities, you're paying a really, really, little minuscule amount for your rent or for your property and um you have everything you need you have downtown you have the mountains you have driving distance to so many major cities driving distance to portland to seattle to vancouver to i mean i drove to lake tahoe this weekend that was about seven and a half hours but i was in california in yeah six seven hours and this has been a longer clip than i planned to but i'm just gonna end off this note if you feel like you are stuck somewhere um and you can't leave that situation you know what i mean just know that you can be wherever it is that you want to be if you save your money if you change your situation in the sense that you know maybe you're in school right now something like that maybe you have a job holding you somewhere but you guys once you're done with that stuff um or you know you choose to get another another job somewhere else i mean if there's somewhere that you want to be just look into it plan for it save your money and you know find a realistic time where you are gonna go and seriously just try it you can always come back to what you know if you don't like it and if it doesn't work out i mean i i encourage you know staying wherever you decide to go if that's somewhere that you're really really excited about but trying new things do i think i will live in los angeles again i honestly don't think so unless i had something that was really really like bringing me back to the city like i I absolutely just missed it so much um, but I feel like that was a chapter in my life that I completed and I'm actually happy to close the book of that chapter I don't miss the lifestyle um, I only miss my great great friends that live there and I will always go and visit and I will always enjoy going you know what I mean I'm not being like oh fuck fuck Los Angeles like by all means if you guys are one of those people that like dreams of LA totally go to LA experience it is an amazing amazing place but there are so many amazing places and living somewhere that I thought was super random and like oh I would I would never go there like what what's there to do in Boise you know before I ever before I ever came here um it just made me realize, wow, there are probably so many freaking places in not even just the country, but the world that you might think of that are freaking random, but you go and you like kind of immerse yourself a little bit in it and you are just like, oh my God, this is a freaking cool place. This has been such a long talk, holy shit. If you honestly are still watching to this point in this exact same clip, 
um, thumbs up this video and leave me a comment down below. I'm trying, just, I'm in my, one of my moods where I'm like talking to the camera. Like I feel like you guys are right in front of me and I can like see, I guess I don't picture you guys' faces cause I don't know what you guys look like, but I picture your comments when I'm talking to you and I picture like, I don't know, is that weird? I picture like what you guys say to me because I, I reflect on and I remember like the comments that I read and if you comment on like all my vlogs, I seriously remember that. Like I recognize you guys' usernames. I really, really do, especially those of you that comment on like a lot of videos. Try something new if like something is calling you, you know what I mean? Or if you just feel like um like a chapter has been done, like oh, I've lived here for this many years, like why don't I? what's stopping me and i guess in life especially once you get older and you get more establishing career your career or your your family or whatever it is those things get harder to do it gets harder to just pick up and go it really does so i would encourage you guys while you are young while you are are in your 20s after you finish college and you don't have things tying you down even if you're in your 30s and you don't have things tying you down i would encourage you guys to just make the most of every day travel when you can well my camera died in that last clip because i was just going on for so long so i just want to come in to say goodbye outro the vlog thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and if you guys have other topics you want me to talk about um just leave them in the comments as always i will try to get to them and talk about them and discuss them in a future vlog and i love you guys thank you for watching and i'll hopefully see you back for vlogmas tomorrow